up guys, Bryce here with the NGOA and Buyers Club and today we are doing a review on the Diamondback Firearms DB9R. Pretty much an AR-15 shooting nine millimeter. Let's get to it. What you guys get out of the box on the DB9R is you get a 16 inch melanite barrel, one in 10 twist rate. You get a Rogers buttstock and a 15 inch key mod rail. You also get a 30 round magazine. And then I went ahead and put on a six hour Romeo 5X red dot. I don't know if you guys can see red dot in there or not, but that's how she looks. Now let's get shooting. All right guys, let's get down and dirty and do an accuracy test. We're gonna place five shots down range at 25 yards and see how nice of a group we can do. All right, let's go down range and check them out. As you can see, guys, 25 yards, it's not too bad of a group. Pretty much free-handed. We'll take that out of the DB9R. Time for the mag test. Let's see if all mags work in the Diamondback. So we got mag pull mags. We've got a Glock mag for the butt plate. We have the 30-round mag that it came with. I believe it's made by gtsgroup.us. We also have a 33 round mag. I believe it's from Russia. There's no name on it. So let's get to it. We'll start out with the mag that it came with. Start with the bolt locked back. See if it locks back and then we'll see if it drops freely. Bolt closed, did not lock back. Magazine drops freely. Go ahead and throw in a Magpul mag. Also, did not lock back, drops freely. Glock mag. Also, did not lock back the bolt, drops freely. This is the 33 round mag from Russia or somewhere. No idea where I bought it. See how it rolls. I put a lot of rounds in this one though. Did not lock back, draws freely. So no lock back on the bolt, but I think I may have an issue with this gun because it also does not lock back if you use the uh, bolt butt as well. Goes back. All right, guys, so that's my review on the Diamondback Firearms DB9R. This thing is by far my favorite AR9 that I have. I even like shooting this way more than an AR15. For one, the ammo is way cheaper, and it's just so much fun to go out and just shoot around. I mean, this is good for new shooters. It's good for it's good for almost anyone. If you don't have one of these in your a collection, you definitely need to get one. Everything on this gun, I would say, is perfect. The only problem I've been having is the bolt to lock back. Not sure what's going on there, but then again, it's no big deal because I'm just out here at the range playing around with this thing. I do love the six hour Romeo 5X on here as well. I did add a Magpul Plus grip on here, so it's nice and, and rubbery and grippy. In the cold, it's really nice. Overall though, this gun is badass and you guys definitely need to go out and get one. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Coming up, we will be shooting more guns, reviewing your favorites, 
this is your one-stop shop for all things Second Amendment. Also, if you want to shoot more for less, check out the description below for information on the NGOA and Buyers Club. It's the only reason we are able to be out here doing this every day. Thank you guys so much and see you next time at the gun range. Happy or sad? Happy. Oh, you ready? Hold on, let me do a price test. I guess we're just shooting. All right, a little low. All right, you ready? Yep. Hold on, let me fix this real quick. There we go. How about a nose? Yeah. Eyebrows? <laughs> oh. That didn't work. Oh, that didn't work very good. Let's see if we can go for a bullseye right inside of this thing. I think I'm like a little high. It's pretty good. You probably didn't see where those went, did you? Right here.